In the name of Allah, we start. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our class. Just a reminder, we are in the third intermediate grade for class five, first semester. Our subject is English. Our lesson today is 4C, Go Wild, Read and Vocabulary, presented and prepared by Muhammad Fallah. Let's start, everybody. What we are going to learn today? We are going to make predictions. Predictions like we are going to guess something happened in the future about the content of an article based on visual prompts and pictures. We're going to see it. Then we're going to identify vocabulary, structure, and function of the content of an article about experiences with wild animals. Then we're going to read for specific information, the good, good skill, everybody. Then we're going to elaborate. We're going to talk more on the topic of the article. We're going to use adverb and adverb phrases use in narration of events then we're gonna use new expression okay let's start the warming up question what are the animals you like to see in the zoo what are the animals you like to see in the zoo let's see what the lion giraffe elephant monkey what are the animals you like to see in the zoo what do we call animals that are not kept in, zo in zoos or houses? What do we call animals that are not kept in zoos or houses? We call it, of course, wild animal. Okay? Go discuss. What do you think is the most dangerous animal? What do you think? Some people said that. Lion, tiger, or snake. What do you think? Has an animal ever attacked you? Has an animal ever attacked you? If yes, how did you feel? How did you feel? How did you feel? Express your emotion. Okay. <clears throat> B. Look at the pictures and the title. What do you think the people experiences with these animals are? Look at the title. Look at the picture. Wow. I, I lived to tell the tale, of course, was interesting and horrifying and scary. Okay, let's hear and read and check your answers, everybody. Gonna read. Okay, please read with the audio. The first one. 4C. Go wild. 1. Read. B. Look at the pictures and the title. What do you think the people's experiences with these animals are? Listen, read, and check your answers. I lived to tell the tale. Real-life stories of people who got a bit too close to wild animals. Our village is near the river Ganges, and tigers have always lived close by without disturbing anyone. But climate change means they have to find new sources of food. As a result, a tiger killed a villager last year while he was collecting honey in the forest. However, tigers very rarely come close to villages, so I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw one last month. It appeared suddenly as I was walking to my hut. I started running, but it didn't chase me. I hid inside and held my breath. Then I heard it scratching at my door. I was terrified. Fortunately, after a while, a group of villagers managed to scare the beast away. Ramish, India. Wow, how interesting. How interesting and horrifying the story about Ramish in India. Okay, 
Story number two. Let's listen carefully and follow. Last year, I went to Australia with my brother, and we had the silly idea of walking in the bush. He was looking for a good place to take a photo, while I was walking by a river. At some point, I stood on a log. Well, I thought it was a log. It turned out to be a crocodile's tail. It span round and snapped its jaws at me, and luckily missed my leg. I don't know how, but I managed to find the courage to run. Now, I've always thought crocodiles were slow. Well, I was wrong. With a croc snapping at my ankles, I climbed a nearby tree. After a while, it got bored and went back to the river. As soon as my brother returned, I told him about my adventure. All he said was, "Did you get a photo of it?" Andy, UK. Okay, the, the, the next story about Andy. Okay. Read again and write R for Ramesh, A for Andy, or N for Nigel. One, the animal didn't try to attack me. Two, I scared the animal away. Three, I live in a dangerous place. Four, I chased the animal. Five, I got injured during the experience. Six. I disturbed the animal by accident. Seven. I didn't need help to get rid of the animal. Okay, let's go back and read it together. Then we gotta answer the question. Okay, let's read number one. Please read with me. Our village is near the river Ganges, and tigers have always lived close by without disturbing anyone. But climate change means. They have to find new sources to, of food. As a result, a tiger killed a villager last year while he was collecting honey in the forest. However, tigers very rarely come close to villagers. Tigers very rarely come close to villages. So I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw one last month. It appeared suddenly. As I was walking to my hut, I started running, but it didn't chase me. I hid inside and held my breath. Then I heard it scratching at my door. I was terrified. Fortunately, after a while, a group of villagers managed to scare the beast away. This is Ramesh in India. Ah, okay. Okay, let's read number two. Story number two by Andy. Okay, last year I went to Australia with my brother, and we had the silly idea of walking in the bush. He was looking for a good place to take a photo while I was walking by a river. At some point, I stood on a log. Well, I thought it was a log. It turned out to be a crocodile tail. Wow! It span round and snap its jaws at me, and luckily, missed my leg. I don't know, but I managed to find the courage to run. Now I've always thought crocodiles were slow. Well, I was wrong. With the croc snapping at my ankles, I climbed a nearby tree. After a while, it got bored and went back to the river. As soon as my brother returned, I told him about my adventure. All he said was, "Did you get a photo of it?" Andy, UK. Okay, now let's answer. Just read it again. Number one, the animal didn't try to attack me. This of Ramesh or A for Andy or N for neither. Number two, I scared the animals away. Number three, I live in a dangerous place. Number four, I chased the animal. Number five, I got injured during the experience. Number six, I disturbed 
the animal by accident. Number seven, I didn't need help to get rid of the animal. Okay, the animal didn't try to attack me. This is rubbish. R, I scared the animal away. Neither. Number three, I live in a dangerous place. R, rubbish. And before I shaved the animal, A for Andy. Five, I got injured during the experience. N for neither. Six, I disturbed the animal by accident. A for Andy. Seven, I didn't need help to get rid of the animal. A for Andy. Okay. Vocabulary. Read the following sentence. Try to guess the meaning of the word in bold. Okay, let's guess the meaning, everybody. It appeared... Suddenly, as I was walking to my hut, then I heard it scratching at my door. It span round and snapped its jaws at me, and luckily missed my leg. Fortunately, after a while, a group of villagers managed to scare the beast away the beast away amazingly both boys had the ability to escape from danger amazingly okay what are these words and what do they do in the paragraph these words are called what most of these words and why guess try to guess these words are used to one, two, three. Let's see now. These words are called adverbal phrases. Most of these words end in L-Y. Okay, L-Y. Luckily, amazingly. Okay, these words are used to help the story teller put the ideas in a good sequence. Number two, give more expression to the sentence connect between ideas. Okay, let's see. Match the word or phrases in the two columns. We have suddenly, right away, fortunately, unfortunately, the opposite, amazingly, amazing, then, and finally. Here, we have in the end, unluckily, to my surprise, luckily, all of a sudden after that. Think about it. Let's see the answers. Suddenly, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, suddenly, something happened, okay? Suddenly. Okay, I was walking and suddenly, okay, I saw an animal, for example. Number two, fortunately, I mean luckily, from luck, fortunately, someone, someone came to help me. I was alone. Fortunately, unfortunately, unluckily, it means that, unfortunately, I break my leg, for example. Okay, I'll give you an example about it. Number four, amazingly, amazingly, to my surprise, to my surprise, something happened, surprise, amazingly. Okay, then, after that, then I walk to my brother's house, for example. Finally, the end, in the end, finally. I went home, for example, okay? Second, the correct word. Number one, my dad had a car accident yesterday, but suddenly or fortunately, he didn't get injured. He didn't get injured, okay? Number two, I was swimming when suddenly or then something bite me on my leg, on, on the leg. Something bite me on the leg, so suddenly or then. I was swimming when suddenly or then something bite me on the leg. Okay, you have to understand the meaning of the sentence. Okay, number three. They bought very expensive camera, but unfortunately or all of a sudden, he lost it. He lost it. It's very expensive camera and he lost it. So what do you think? Unfortunately, all of a sudden. Choose one answer. Number four, we were walking in the forest when we saw a bear. In the end, 
or to our surprise, it didn't even look at us. It disappeared. Second, let's okay, see the answers. My dad had a car accident yesterday, but fortunately, of course, he didn't get injured. Number two, I was swimming when suddenly something, I was swimming, suddenly something bite me on the leg. Number three, they bought very expensive camera, but unfortunately, he lost it. He lost it. Number four, we were walking in the forest when we saw a bear. To our surprise, it didn't even look at us. It disappeared second layer. Okay, the end of our class. Summary, adverb, phrasal. Sequence, adverb. First, next, then, finally. Okay, expression of adverb. Suddenly, amazingly, unfortunately, unfortunately. Okay? Thank you. This is the end of our class. See you to the next one. Goodbye.